Goody, goody! <laughs> How the hunk are you? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dan Oat. I got something for you today. Yeah, here it is today. We're going to do, uh, well, it's an unboxing, but uh, yeah, I got, uh, I did not get fa uh, flameless birch pillars. I did not get that. <laughs> I did not. I did not. This is a purchase off eBay. We're going to do a look at uh, an interesting little model today. This here package came from KS, Kansas. Yes, that's right. And it's Wichita, Kansas, KS. So let's see. Uh, hopefully, uh, due to this number right here, I know exactly what we're going to be talking about today. <laughs> Hopefully, hopefully. Let's see if they pack the right thing. Okay, that's it. All right. Oh, here it is. All right, let's get rid of the box. Well, we'll just throw it throw it back there, but we'll, we'll keep the box because we'll send something to you someday. Yeah. All right, here we go. Let's carefully get this open here. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Oh, I got more. Hold on. Hold on, I got more. <laughs> oh, there he goes. And ba bam! Here we are. Yes, check it out. Let's get into focus. Yes, yes. All right. All right. Here we are. Look at this beauty. Duckham's race support. Little defender, obviously. Yes. Is that DXR on there? I believe so, yes, yes. So do you recognize this, ladies and gentlemen? Let's take a look, ba-bam! Right on, Corgi, made in Great Britain. Yeah, just picked this up off eBay. I think I paid a dollar for it. I had to pay like three something for shipping, so under five bucks. Got this very nice, very, very nice uh, example of a Corgi, at this point, a Corgi, Land Rover Defender, and that would be the 110 hardtop, van hardtop, yes. All right, so take a little special note here on the wheels. Yes, sirree, take a little note because <laughs> we've got a couple of more that I have gotten. Um, and this is still still the uh, Corgi, but this has got the four, uh, I don't know what they call them, four hubbed wheels. I don't know. <laughs> Let's get in focus. This is the nicest one that I've got here. Uh, very, very uh, excellent shape. I'm not really sure. Uh, oh, yeah. I remember $7. <laughs> yeah. So these can call for a premium price around there. Uh, very, very nice. Um, so this does come in two uh, variants in the blue race support, the duck hams, uh, because of the wheels. All right, so I got this one today. Those are older ones. I did get this one, and I have a video on these, and I'll uh, show, share that with you later on. I did get this one, and uh, come to find out that this is not the correct box that this came in, but it was uh, the wheel variation. It is uh, mint per se, and I just left it in this box. I uh, In the other video, I gave you good reason to believe why this wasn't uh, the original box, but uh, yeah, so anyway, I keep it around. I just throw it up there. I got a um, little special cabinet that I keep all these in, and what all do I mean? Well, I've got this one here, too. This is a variant, and I want to say that these wheels are the last wheels that Corgi used on this model. And uh, why it was the last time, I'll get to that. But uh, this one doesn't even say Corgi on it anymore. It just says Made in Great Britain. Because... Oh, man, and I don't even remember what year, but um, Corgi was bought out by Mattel, uh, i.e. 
Um, Hot Wheels. Here's a very, very nice one. I'm not really sure uh, what I paid for this one. It was an orange dot. I hope that was a sale price. I think I bought this in person at an antique store. But I love it. 65 Land Rover. That is nice. Safari Rally. Really cool BP. Uh, but a lot of them have, and I've seen, has uh, they have those tires. Here's one. The AAA Service. It always takes so long to get into focus, don't it? Uh, this one, and this is, I think, uh, like I say, the uh, first original wheels that Corgi used. Now, this one's got the, um, yeah, see these, these, these type wheels here, the spoke, two, four, six, eight spoke, have a rib down the middle, so they really cruise. Now, the other ones are kind of traditional um, die cast wheels, so they don't cruise I suppose as good but here's the yellow one uh, all one solid construction plastic base now this one says Corgi on it too so this is an earlier one so there you go so there we got um, uh, brand new to the uh, Corgi Defender 110 uh, stable is this here bugger and what happened was um, and I believe it was like uh, 96, 97. Ba bam! This beauty came out. And once again, focus, please. <laughs> and you can tell from the traditional Hot Wheels wheels that are on there that this was now, ba bam! A Hot Wheels made, made in China. <laughs> Holy cow! One island to another. All right, <laughs> anyway. But. Uh, didn't change the base, they just uh, took and stamped their Hot Wheels logo on there and then changed the, uh, the um, uh, yeah, the placement of the, the uh, made stamp. But uh, here it is, this is uh, what they came. Now this was interesting, uh, only came out in uh, 1997, um, here I got a carded one. Just to show you here, 1997 Mattel, uh, very, very nice. Now, they called this a Mark II, Land Rover Mark II. And I got a couple of those uh, different, if you want to see another, whoa, if you want to see another video of these, um, I probably should just do it because it's been a while since uh, I did this video. And uh, just, uh, so yeah, I've got a couple of these. These are loose ones that I've gotten. And uh, yeah, so anyway, if you want to see um, what the insides of one of these looks like, well, boy, do I have a treat for you. This is one of the battered older ones that I've gotten, and I have already drilled out the bits there. So uh, I've never drilled out the Corgi one because those are kind of expensive. <laughs> but here you go. Let's take a look at uh, the Hot Wheels, which is virtually the same thing as the corgi uh, except for the plating on the bottom so very simple it has uh, two pinch points there to hold the axle down very good on the front but down the back it just has one hardier uh, style there uh, very simple construction um, then it has the uh, blue interior here most of the corgi or I should say I'm gonna go out on a limb all of the corgis had black with being a uh, right hooker so they didn't change that at all so that was uh, yeah so there you go that's that and then it did have a glass piece very simple it was a cube it was solid they didn't uh, save the money and take out the back <laughs> so uh, that is the glass but then it is a very heavy piece I have got to invest in a uh, small scale so I can show you how heavy these things are. The original back in the 90s, um, how much die cast we used to get in these buggers, and now they are just uh, simple, you know, um, lightweight die casts, you know. So there you go. Very, very interesting. Very, uh, just a cool uh, update here on. Uh, the um, Land Rover collection, yes, with the uh, 
and I, you know, I don't know exactly what they call, what Corgi called this. Did they call it a Corgi, uh, the Land Rover Defender 110? What was the name of this? I'm not really sure. I, I couldn't, uh, you know, I just flicked on the cam the camera and did a video. I'm so excited about getting a new one <laughs> with this wheel variation, but, uh, there you go. Hey, if you if you know the name that they that Corgi called that, put a comment down below. And while you're down there, give me a big thumbs up, will you? All right. So let's just uh, get on out of here. Ten minutes. Thanks for joining me today, taking a look at an unboxing of a Corgi slash Hot Wheels. Yes, very very nice. Uh, can't wait to uh, 2021 here. Get to even customizing some of these like drilling out those windows yeah that would be an adventure or even creating windows on the side huh all right that's it come on over to roverland facebook page growing leaps and bounds in the last month there so check that out and uh yeah roverland channel on instagram all right folks i'm out of here thank you for joining me i'm your friend dano and remember Slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.